Sarah from The Dainty Pair. Usually I speak straight to the moms who are about to give birth, who are in labor. Today I really wanted to talk to the birth partner. So that can be a, a romantic partner, that can be a mom or a sister or a doula, whoever is acting as that supporting role. A support partner is usually somebody outside of the doctor or midwife, although of course the doctor and midwife are extremely knowledgeable and can provide support where needed. That's not their main job. Their main job is to take care of mom and baby and make sure everything is running smoothly. The support person comes in to specifically help mom with those comfort measures, with encouraging words, with sustenance, with anything she needs emotionally or comfort wise. So that's just the quick difference between the caregiver and the support person. Today we're talking specifically about encouraging words from the support person to the laboring mom. Never ever underestimate the power of an encouraging word. Um, there were so many times where my nurses or my husband would be saying incredibly simple phrases, but things like, good job, you're doing great, you're getting so close. Keeping the language in the room really uplifting can help the mom out a lot, especially during those really difficult points of labor where she almost feels like, oh, I can't do this anymore, I can't get through this. An encouraging word can really reach in and help pull them through that, that thinking. Positive words, in my experience, can give more energy. They can help someone who's feeling helpless feel hopeful. They can provide strength. There's so much strength in your words. One way to make sure that you're being sincere in, in what you're saying, even if you don't know a lot about labor or what's going on, make sure your eyes and your ears are open to what her needs might be. So if you're just aware and you maybe notice that you see things that she's doing super well, like that was perfect. You were so relaxed during that contraction. You were so strong. Notice little things that she's doing where you can give it a sincere compliment and it can encourage her for future contractions. Other examples of positive language would be anything that helps progress labor forward. Things like, that was a good contraction. You're getting so much closer to meeting your baby. Um, reminding her of the things that are going to come after she's in, experienced this discomfort, this pain, and really keeping her eye on the goal. Eye on the prize. She can do no wrong during labor, and that's another thing to remember as the support person. Please don't criticize a laboring mom. She is doing everything she can to get through the contraction. Don't be critical. Don't make fun of her in any way. I mean, the, the mood in the room can be extremely light. We loved having fun, we were playful, but if you have sincere criticism, keep it to yourself. If you feel she's in danger in some way, definitely alert a nurse or the midwife or the doctor, but labor is not a time for criticism, but it is a great time for you to be calm, collected, gentle, and encouraging. She has invited you into this special space where she's about to bring a baby into the world, and it should really feel like a secure, vault where she knows that any noise that she makes, anything that she says, any funny thing, whether she poops on the table, anything that happens needs to stay encouraging and positive and it's nothing to bring up to her either in the moment or afterwards to make her feel silly. If she asks about details, you can definitely talk about it, but it's not something to ever use against her in any way, shape, or form. Let's be encouraging. More examples of encouraging language can be, I'm so proud of you. You are so brave. You are so strong. The baby is almost here. You are such a warrior. I am so excited. Our baby is almost here. I've talked about this before, but there was a point in one of my labors where I was feeling a little bit out of control and I had a nurse who had me look straight into her eyes, straight into her face, which is another great tactic during labor for the support person. If you feel that they've kind of lost that motivation, that strength, that inner drive for this labor, you can really help them out you can really be not only a crutch but a partner to help them through that really difficult stage or stages emotionally or physically during labor but this nurse she had me look straight at her and she said think of all the bows you're gonna put in her hair your little girl is almost here your baby is almost born and it just snapped me back into the present and I was like okay I gotta do this before I do that here we go <laughs> what do they say the only way out is through and as the support person, you can help them get through. Your job is so important. The mom is strong. She has got this, and I know sometimes being the support person can feel a little bit scary, because especially if you're not trained, you can feel a little bit helpless, and you don't like seeing them uh, in pain or discomfort or anything like that, but just know, birth is an extremely natural thing to do. The pain is not gonna last forever. It will come to an end, and your job is just to help her get through it. And if she has an epidural, same thing. Sometimes you can get a faulty epidural, 
Sometimes the mom might be not in physical pain, but can be experiencing anxiety, some mental or emotional discomfort, and that's where you can come into, and that's where those encouraging words can be so helpful. I hope that this was helpful for you. Remember to subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos. Uh, you can follow on Instagram at The Dainty Pair and at Modern Birthing. Uh, we are talking a lot about birth over there. And I have a track that you can download to listen to either during labor or in preparation for labor. I always suggest that you practice before you're actually in labor. If you practice beforehand when you're in the moment, it just becomes second nature and it's really helpful. So uh, I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you later.